So how is this Infinity Gauntlet supposed to fit this hand right here? It's not the same size. I don't think it's going to fit. Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramni and this is another episode of How to Draw, the show where I show you how to draw your favorite characters in easy to follow, simple step-by-step -step instructions. Today we are going to be drawing the Mad Titan himself, Thanos, from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And before we continue with the tutorial, I just want to say, if you guys are enjoying my content and you want to see more tutorials like this, please hit that subscribe button that is just below this video so that you guys are notified anytime that I upload brand new tutorials. Anyway, you guys, we have been waiting for Thanos for a couple of years now, ever since he appeared in the very first Avengers movie at the very end. We got a little glimpse of him in Guardians of the Galaxy. He was pretty much just a cameo, just sitting on his throne. And next year, we will finally get to see Thanos in full force with the Infinity Stones all collected in his Infinity Gauntlet, facing off against all of the members of the MCU. I cannot wait. I can't even fathom what that's going to be like. It's going to be epic. I guarantee it. And I cannot wait. Since we already got a good look at Thanos from the Guardians of the Galaxy, we don't need to wait another year to do a tutorial on Thanos. So today, I'm going to do a tutorial on Thanos because I want to and I'm excited for Avengers Infinity War. And I'm sure you guys are too. As usual, what you guys need for this drawing is a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black pens to ink afterwards. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause at any time so that you guys can catch up on your drawings. Remember, we all draw at different speeds to so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. And if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely acceptable as well. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get right to the tutorial. All right, you guys, so for Thanos, we've got our paper in landscape mode. We're going to be drawing pretty much just up to mid chest for this one. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to draw is going to be not a circle, but I'm going to make an oval and I'm going to draw it about this big and I'm going to draw it in the center of my page. Now take your time with this one. You want to make sure that you've got that oval nice. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start shaping uh, the top of the oval is going to be pretty narrow and it's got a tip at the top right here. And then I want to make sure that the sides of the oval are symmetrical with each other. You want to make that the same. Okay. I'm actually going to bring the chin down a little bit lower even to there. So it does look like an egg. Okay. Now I'm going to create a little, it does kind of look like a circle and I'm going to find not quite halfway down. And I'm just going to create this little shape from the top of the head there, uh, going down to almost halfway. So I would consider this halfway. And just keep this pretty open because I'm, I might even need to bring that down even more later on. Okay. So here's that. Here's, here's the bottom. From here, I'm going to create just some lines going out to the side of the head and then here like this and you actually want to bring this down like that you want to make sure that they're symmetrical like I said right so try to get that as nice and sharp as possible okay and erase this little line that I made there here's where I'm going to put the nose and just a little bit above it, I'm going to draw another line. And then from here, I'm just going to create this triangular looking shape like that. A little bit below the nose is the mouth. I'm just going to draw a line like this. A smaller line underneath and another line underneath that. And this is going to be the chin. And I'm going to make the chin very squarish. Like almost flat. Okay. Right here is where the eyes, or this is where part of the helmet just goes down. So I'm going to create this little rectangular looking shape uh, going down from this circle egg shape that we created here at the top. And then this is where we're going to put the eyes. So I'm going to create a line going across and just two little beauty eyes like that for now. And then we're going to, let's move on. Let's actually work on the outline for the body and then we'll start focusing in on adding the details on the helmet for Thanos and the face as well. Okay, so um, let's draw a line going straight down and I'm going to draw that line continuing down like this from the sides of the face here and here. Let's make it above the above the mouth here. Here's the mouth line. You want to bring it a little bit higher up. You want to create 
two angled lines going down. Okay, now from here, line going out like this, and another one here, like that. Over here, I'm going to draw a collar. It goes around like this, but actually you want to take, you find the middle and then you take two lines that get narrower as you go down. Okay, now you want to make sure that they're symmetrical again, like I said. Okay, now this one goes out this way, and this one goes out this way. Okay, at this point, I'm going to make another collar like that. Find a spot right here. Make a curve like this. And then you draw a line like that. And you want to find, from here, we're going to create this, like the shoulder pads, and they sort of go across this way. So let's find that. We're going to find the half circle that sort of goes uh, over the chest here. This is going to be the chest area, and this is where his shoulder pads kind of stick out. Okay, and you want to make sure that it's the same on both sides, like I said. Okay, now that you've found this, I bring it up slightly, and then I go this way. And it, it, it goes a little, um, uh, you go up slightly as you go to the right. And over here, you go this way. And then end it right about there. So that's a good spot, and that's a good spot. You kind of want it to be uh, about the size of the the neck part that we created earlier. So this size right here, and here to here. Okay, bring that down, bring this down. From here, we go out and then down, and then out like this. And same thing over here, you go out, down, out again. Now find this point and this point, and we are going to create it gets, it gets slightly wider as you go to the center. From here, it gets slightly wider. Kind of hard to tell, but uh, that is what it's supposed to do. And then once we get to here, we're just going to create this Y-looking shape. Well, a V. And then it goes down from there. Okay. Now, right around here is going to be the chest and right here as well. So it goes out, goes in like this. And then from here, it goes out like this, and then like that. So you, you make them meet and draw this little curve down here, and you do the same thing on this side. Let me fix that up a little bit. So here, it goes this way, and down. From here, two lines going out like this, and same thing over here. The top line goes this way. Okay, same thing here. Top line goes right there. And this one just sort of fades like that. All right. From here, actually right here, you want it to go out like that. And you just want to end it like that. Same thing here. Two lines going out, and then you draw a line that closes that shape. And then from here, draw a line right here, from here to there, from here to there. And then from here, I draw a line that sort of contours with the chest like this, and then I bring it down like that. Actually, I bring it down like that, and here goes in and then down. There you go. Now let's draw the shoulders. You want that shoulder to imagine the shoulder sort of being like a little circle-ish shape here and here. And then it just goes from there, it goes down like that. Here it goes down as well. And let's uh, well, let's uh, find the armor. It goes from here. It goes like that. And then it it goes to you draw a line going across to the edge of the shoulder here. And we'll leave it like that. And then from here, line going like this and then like that, and then a curved line going down the middle like this. Okay, now over here, something similar. It's a little bit different. <coughs> Excuse me. From here, I'm gonna draw a line going 
this way. And going to the side like this. And then from here down, down up there. And you just go into the muscle and from here curve and then into the muscle as well. All right. So those are the like the general shapes. And now let's start getting into the details. Uh, before we do, you want to make sure that everything is in proportion with each other. The arms are slightly different, but you want to make sure that all of these lines, uh, these are, you know, they're the same on this side, mirror imaged with this side. So you want to make sure that you've got that one down packed. Now let's go back to the face and sharpen your pencil if you need to, but uh, let's get started. And I'm going to get started by erasing the bottom of that, like that bottom curve of that egg. And I'm going to start with that shape, actually the shape right here. Okay. You have a middle line going up and down. You want to start on the left side of that middle line and the right. And you want to create this thing that sort of gets wide and then gets narrow in the center and then goes wide again, but only very slightly. Okay. So it does that. And once you get here to the bottom, you actually want to not go all the way down. As you reach right around here, you want to start spreading that a little bit further out. And then from there, draw a thin line going down like this. Okay. We'll leave the top for now. Let's focus on the bottom. All right. Now you've got this line here at the bottom. What you want to do is you want to create the center should be a straight line across, but this should tilt down and this should tilt down as well. Okay. Now you want this to go slightly up, this one slightly up. And what you want to do is you want to bring it this way and this way. Up. So we're not going to that rounded shape that we did earlier. We're going to go a little bit below that. Bring it here and here, and then we're going to create a curve. And then we're going to meet this, the, the, the little egg, the circle that we did earlier to about here. You don't want that to go to touch the top of the head there. So you want to create this shape that looks like this. Okay. Like that. Now let's go back over here and then we're going to, we're going to make our way this way and we're going to try to draw a nice smooth oval like that. And the same thing on the other side. There you go. Now we go right here and then we're going to bring this line up here as well. Like that. So try to make that as nice as you can. Until you have this shape right here. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw a little, an elongated triangle like that, an isosceles with a line going down the middle. Okay, over here, I'm going to make a crescent moon shape and another one over here. And then a circle underneath that, a circle, and then a rectangle. Hard to see, but the, just subtle hints. Okay, from here, I'm going to draw two lines going out this way and two lines going out this way. So there's the, the gist of the helmet. Um, the sides are going to be, but once you reach here, you want it to go almost straight up. This one also almost straight up, going up like that on both sides. And I'm going to erase the sides here to get a better idea. So I want this to go to the top like that and like this. And then I draw another line on each side, right here and right here. It goes up and to the top again. And here at the top, I'm going to create this. It looks like a plug, but that's a part of the top there. Okay. Now I shouldn't have made the sides go in too much. I've made it go in too much. So I'm going to shape it a little bit better. So like, like that. 
there and there. And from here, I'm going to close that off and I'm going to close this off. And I'm going to find a spot right here and right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start drawing the side like this. So I'll draw a curve right here and here first. Okay. Just find that same spot up here. Okay. Here's that curve straight line going down. Make sure you're aligned. You want it to go about halfway down about here, halfway between the nose and the mouth lines. So up to there, go in and then out again this way like that. Once you reach this, you go straight across like this and across like this. And the bottom should be right around where you have this little chin line right there. Okay. Now let's go back up here and we bring this to here and then draw a line like that down. Now out here, we go out like this and then this one goes all the way down like that. Okay. So from here to there, draw that line draw this rectangle and then on the side going out and then going down all the way down to this point. Now let's go from here. I'm actually going to find a spot right here. I'm going to make this go out a little bit. So you guys can see that the helmet sort of has this shape where it's sort of, it's narrow at the bottom and it sort of flares out like this. Okay. Like that. And then those meet and these meet. Okay, let's draw some ear. I don't know what to call it. It's part of the helmet, but it's it's like a covers the ears here on the side. So I'm just going to draw this thing that sticks out of the side. And same thing over here. There you go. Now we've got the helmet. Let's uh, fix the chin. And now let's draw the eyes. The brow is sort of, it starts right here and it sort of goes out to the sides. Okay. It starts here and then goes out like that. And then I'm going to draw the eye just underneath it. And the eyes are really small and they're so small that you actually almost cannot see it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some semi circles, I guess, semi ovals underneath like that. And then the people, the semi circle inside. Okay. Now two lines, two faint lines going down. And then I'm going to draw the tip of the nose right there. And then this nose goes, it almost creates this triangular shape. So here's the tip of the nose and it goes out like that and it goes out like this. Okay. You actually want to draw the nostrils, the sides of the nose like that and like that. Okay. And he's got some pretty deep uh, wrinkles right here and here. Let's leave it like that for now. Now we're going to draw the lip. Here's the a little dip and the top lip. Now it goes out. You want it to go right around here. You want to give him a frown. So you want to draw these lines on the side going down like that. Now this line almost goes straight. And then the bottom lip, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to fix the chin a little bit. I made a little too deep or a little too long now. I'll make it a little smaller this time around. So it doesn't have quite a big of a chin. <clears throat> so that's the basic shape for Thanos's face. Let's add in some details. First, we're going to draw the bags under the eyes. One like that. Another one like this. And then another one from here goes down like this out like that. Okay. And now we're going to draw the small, the really tiny pattern that he's got uh, the face lines that he's got. And we're going to start with the one that goes down the middle of his face. I'm going to first draw this little thing under our noses where the one that we all have, but we're going to cut through the bottom lip down all the way to the chin. And you don't want that to be a straight line. You kind of want it, um, zigzagged, zigzag 
not zigzag, just, just a rough line. And now I'm going to start on each side, going down, and then I sort of flare out as you go down the chin, like that. And then this sort of goes to the nostril, like this. It sort of cuts along the top, uh, the upper lip as well. Okay, now I'm going to keep doing that. You want to pay attention to where your line goes. So you want to be very careful with this. So you notice it gets wider here and it gets narrow along the lips and then it gets wider again as you go down the chin. Okay, and then down here, go down to the side like that. And then to the eye. And now this one goes out, actually goes out this way. Okay. And this one goes to the side of the face like that. Because from the eye, you've also got some scars going out this way. Okay, so from the eye, Now lastly, let's do this one. It goes out this way, out to the cheeks. Now this wrinkle right here, I'm just going to bring it down like that. And like this. And then line going this way and line going this way. So there's a Thanos' uh, face, a very convoluted face. Now let's go back to um, his armor now. Okay, I've got these lines right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find this spot right here and another one over here, like that. I draw those lines and then I draw, I'm going up to the back of the neck there. Like that. And find a spot right in the middle and you want this to run along this way. Now from here, if it goes out like this, and then in this way. Okay, same thing here, from here, goes up, curves up, and goes this way. And then here, now we've got these um, S patterns, I guess you can call it. And then at the edge here, I'm just going to create these, like a, a rough texture along it. And this one, not so much an S, I'm making this more of a, just curves like this. And then from here, line going down like that, and line going down this way. Like that, and like that. Now, let's go over here to the center. We're gonna focus on this little center area here. We've got these um, collars. Inside it, we've got more collars. One there, and then one here. Line going through the middle, like that. Okay, let's bring, well, let's bring these two lines going down to there. Right here, I'm gonna create a little point that looks like that. On the sides, they go out this way and then up and then to the right and to the left over here, making sure that they're symmetrical. Close that off and this. Now from here to here, a line, another one right here. Same thing over here, here to there, and right here. Right here, I'm going to create two lines. It goes from here, this way, and then that way, and then to this little um, corner that we have right here. So we have this shape. And that shape. And then you want to draw that twice. Just like that. Right. 
Now over here, I'm going to create a, well, it's a square, but it's narrower at the top than it is at the bottom. And I'm going to continue that going all the way down to right around here where this sort of meets. And I round off the bottom like that. Okay. Here, I'm going to draw another square. A line going across one, two, three, and then four. Two lines, one, two, do that twice. And one more over here, one, two. And this one, I draw a line in the middle or a square or a rectangle. And then right here, another rectangle going down the middle. And right here, I'm just gonna leave it like that. Okay, let's uh, shape this nicely now. And I'm gonna start over here. I go out, angle, and you want to end it right around here. So you kind of want it to do that. Okay, so find the spot right here and then move to the right slightly, and that's where you want it to end off. So right here, you want it to end right here. Okay, so you want to start over here, go out, angle, and then straight, and then angle again. And just bring that in until you get to here. And what you want to do is you want to go from here, you go in slightly, and then you draw a straight line going up. Actually, you want to draw two of them, two lines going up, and then angle. And you want to find this little spot right here, sort of where this angle is, and you want it to end off there. Okay, so let's work backwards from here, out like this. And then right here, two lines going up, and then an angled line like that. It's gonna fix it a little bit so that it's uh, symmetrical. There you go. All right, so now that we've got that, we're gonna bring this in, and this one goes in as well, and then just down like that. And then we'll leave it like that. This line I'm going to double up till, till we get to here. And then I'm going to draw one single line going up like that. Okay, so double up over here from here to here. And then from here, a single line going to that point right there. Okay, now let's go over here. See the shape right here? A line about one third of the way in and then going in towards this point. Okay. And from here, go down and goes in like that. Okay. I'm just going to close this off and this, we're not going to bother with the details on those. Okay. Over here, let's uh, from here, I'm going to draw a line going up and up and to the right slightly right there. And from here up and to the left like that little rectangle here and here okay now let's uh, do the shoulder pads let's do this one now shake that a little bit i want this one to go up like that so i've got these two lines right here go up and i want this to go across and i want it to go this way and then in like that From here, I go up to the right, and it goes up again like this. Okay, now I'll do the same thing right here. Draw a line going across, then I go up, and now to the right, and I do this twice like that. This one raises up, it goes up like that, and goes to the edge, and then close that off. So I've got that shape. Now from here, I'm gonna bring it all the way down to here and I'm gonna create this curve right here. I don't want it to be a sharp edge. There you go. And then just a rectangle right here. And that's it right there. Let's do the same thing on this side. Okay, now we're gonna start over here again. Here and here, bring this, draw another line going up to there. Now from here, bring it up 
and then down like that. And then from here, I want this to go across like that. Now we go back over here to this point, angled line, and line going across. Now it goes up. It's raised across two lines going this way, down, and then across. Okay, and then the rectangle right here. And then from here, I just draw a curve going down this way, all the way to the tip right here. Okay, and we're pretty much almost finished. I'm not gonna add any more details to uh, the, the shoulder pads. I'm just going to create this and just outline that. And then right here, goes down like this, goes around like that. And then here, I'm going to draw, I guess the, the padding for the bicep and it goes like that and then down. And then the bicep, I guess, just goes like this. Okay, from here, I'm gonna draw a line going across and then down like that. And then another one, like this. And then I'm just gonna draw a line going this way. Okay, and on this side, shape the shoulder and it just goes like that it goes in up and right here I'm just going to draw that same two lines that go this way and then down okay close that off and then darken these ones and then from here I'm going to draw the plating for the bicep I guess I just want it to go down like this, like that. And that's it, you guys. That is the Mad God Thanos from, well, from Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. And we're going to be seeing him again in Avengers Infinity War. Can't wait for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings of Thanos turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you guys are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have links to those in the description below. And if you guys feel like being extra generous, I now have a donate button that is on my channel. I have merchandise that you guys can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And if you guys are interested in checking out or purchasing my art, I have a link to my art store in the comments below. Clicking on any of those links I just mentioned helps to ensure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of Thanos plus all the other coloring pages from my tutorials on this channel. Again, you guys, links to those are in the description below. Finally, thank you once again, and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. The show where I show, the show where I show, the show where I show. If you're curious, curious, if you're curious, curious, if you're curious, if this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Here in this channel, I sh said that already in the beginning. Question of the day. What is my question of the day? Don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook.